Today is a big day on the election calendar. That's right. It's petition submission day. Those are signatures, by the way, for congressional and statewide races, a day that's critical for big names and underdogs alike. The moment, the moment of truth. All right. I have these beautiful petitions. Mehmet Oz, the well-known Republican. Who do I give them to? Dropped off. Can you check them out here. 4,000 signatures twice what's needed to run for U.S. Senate. We have 3,229 uh, signatures. Lesser known Democrat Alex Khalil is seeking the same office. And on this day, Alex has petitions and a prayer. The last election cycle, uh, the people with the most money didn't necessarily win. And, you know, Joe, wonderful, I mean, Joe Torricello is a great guy, but he lost. He lost to an unknown candidate. The Department of State accepts and counts the signatures to make sure candidates have the required number, but it does not check them for accuracy. That job falls to opponents. That's the system. Uh, I mean, it's, a, it's another check and balance, if you will. This is Super Tuesday for Larry Otter, an attorney who specializes in elections. Candidates hire him to help them stay on the ballot or to help boot their opponents off of it. If you need a thousand signatures and you submitted 1,300, the likelihood of your chal being challenged is about 100%. Oz says his team is already looking at opponent signatures which are publicly available. We'll check 100 and make sure they're done correctly. If they did 100 correctly, they probably did most of the other ones correctly. There's not going to be any purpose of challenging someone who has 4,000. If they have 2,003 petitions, we're going to challenge them. There is one week for opponents to bring objections, which are then decided in Commonwealth Court. We've had years where there were more than 100 total challenges out of a, you know, roughly 1,000 candidates. Odds are some of the candidates filing this Tuesday won't make it to Election Tuesday. There will be challenges. I expect there will be some. How many? I don't know. Thank, Thank you very much. much. Take care. I made it. Victory. And the Department of State will have to do this all over again in a couple of weeks once the maps for state House and Senate districts are finalized and those candidates gather their signatures.